Previously, I tried my hand at making some historical types of early paper. However, my results were a bit mixed. This time, I thought I'd seek the help of some experts. Paper is made from the pressed fibers of plants such as hemp, cotton, bamboo, and most commonly, wood pulp. The first form of paper making can be traced to China around 100 BC. Most paper was often made from the scraps of hemp or cotton rigs and cloth. The widespread use of the spinning wheel in the 13th century led to an abundance of cloth whose scraps could be turned into paper. Cotton remains a popular paper even today for its durable nature and is often used for making currency notes. U.S. currency is made out of 75% cotton. In 1844, a method was developed for processing wood pulp into paper. This new method created an even cheaper paper that allowed it to become the most common form of writing material even today. Making wood pulp paper is an extensive process that requires many chemical treatments to break down the tough fibers of the wood. Two common materials used for making paper just happen to be materials I had left over from when I previously made my suit, hemp and cotton. With my leftover fibers, I turned to expert paper makers at Cave Paper to help me with this process. Let's make some paper. Hi. How are you doing? All right. Yeah, what you got there? I brought some of the hemp and cotton that I have. So are you going to be able to show me how to turn it into a paper? Sure. Let's try cooking the hemp. We'll just put the cotton out here. And if you want to uh, put it in the big cooking pot, we can do that. OK. Just dump it all in? Yeah. And uh, we'll just push it down we'll till about here, and we'll get it cooking for you. All right. While my hemp boils, I'll begin preparing the cotton. The fibers must first be broken up into small pieces. For that, we use a special beater machine. We ran the cotton through the machine for several hours until it was finally broken down enough for paper making. Once chopped into the small short fibers, they are added to a tub of water and thoroughly mixed. Next, the mold is pulled through. With a screen mesh, the water drains out, leaving just the fiber. Then this newly formed piece of paper is laid out on a piece of felt. And the process is repeated over and over again until a stack is ready. The stack is then placed under a press, where 5,000 pounds of pressure is applied to it. The pressure helps drive the water out and forces the fibers together to form a more solid paper. How many sheets should I get out of this? Um, two pounds, only like 15, 20. Okay. Four layers of cotton paper are then stacked together and pressed again. By combining them together, this helps them dry with less wrinkles. Then once dried, you just peel the layers apart. Now all that's left to do is to hang them up to dry. Hemp paper is prepared using a similar process to cotton. First, however, I need to once again separate the bast fibers. After hours of peeling hemp stocks, it is added to the beater machine. Screened through a mold, transferred onto the felts, and once again, put into the press. Unlike the cotton, the hemp needs to be dried under weights, as it shrinks a lot and would otherwise turn out really wrinkly. After laying all my papers dry over the weekend at Cave Paper, I now have the completed, completed paper. So the first one is cotton. I think it turned out pretty nice, got a nice texture, and uh, it was fairly easy to do. Whereas the hemp here, 
it was very reminiscent of when I made my suit where the, the hemp was a lot more involved and took probably five, three to five times as long both in the suit and making the paper. So I think that both of these will work pretty well with my book. Next up, I'll need to make some writing utensils.